go. So I thought I need to come in the front of the video and just give some context to it. Um, if you're not interested in me speaking at all, skip to this point, which is where the riding will start. For those who've hung around and are interested in me actually saying something, um, the day didn't go too well to be honest. I thought I'd try something new, I thought I'd try to go to a trail centre. Um, I struggled massively with my fitness, so I thought I've been doing some fitness training kind of behind the scenes. And it would be a good way to test it. Um, I had the whole day, but the night before I got a text message saying I was needed somewhere, just personal. And uh, that cut the whole day down into an hour. I wanted to check my microphone because I wasn't happy with the audio in the last video. It was just muffled and, and there was seemed to be something rubbing against the microphone, so I wanted to check that. I wanted to check my fitness and I thought I'd try something different and rather than ride natural trails all the time, um, just ride at a trail centre. So I got the text message which took, like I said, cut my whole day down into an hour. Um, and I went out to ride, check the microphone, check my fitness and get some good footage at the same time. Going from having the whole day to only having an hour, feeling pressured for the time constraint, rather than take my time and get up the hill and make sure I had enough energy at the top to give it a proper rundown. Basically blew my legs, my body, my whole physical conditioning out climbing the hill. So when I got to the top, I basically had nothing left. Um, as a result, I wasn't comfortable. Didn't feel like I had the strength to manoeuvre the bike in the way that I wanted it. I was blowing out my arse fitness wise, so I couldn't speak or anything like that. I want to get my fitness better for the channel. The amount of natural trails that are around here that are amazing is something that I want to share with you. But at the same time, I need to build my fitness to the point where I can actually get to the trail without being exhausted and still have something left at the end of it um, to put in a good ride. And I think that's where I failed on this video and I think that's why I'm not particularly happy with it. That combined with the fact that trail centers is to compromise for everyone to ride. So whilst if you're an extremely good rider or a decent rider, you can make the most out of it, but beginners can still manage the same trail. If you've got nothing in the tank, your legs are blown up, your upper body's knackered, you're breathing through your arse, then you're, you're basically riding it like a beginner. You can't do the things you want to do, you can't control the bike the way you want to control it. Because I've said I'm doing Mountain Bike Mondays and it's like a series, I just wanted to document this rather than, because ordinarily I just wouldn't upload this at all. But I feel like because I'm doing this Mountain Bike Mondays and making a video every Monday, I have to upload something, so I figured I would upload this, but also explain the reasons behind it. If you made it through my talking, thank you. Um, if you skip to the mountain biking, you're not watching this anyway, so it doesn't make any difference. Um, I've set up an Instagram as well, so I'll put the link in the description if you want to follow me on the Instagram. But uh, enjoy, and I'll see you next week. Hopefully we'll have something that I regard as more entertaining and worthy of the channel. Cheers, bye.